Hi, everybody. Happy New Year. All right, in today's video, we are. Uh, I am finishing up this wire bundle for all the Garmin engine sensors, and we're going to wire that in and actually start connecting some of the sensors. You've seen me make wire before, no big deal. Uh, I have to agree real quick with the comment that uh, someone left about the <laughs> state of the desk. Look, things get messy. If you put everything away all the time, then it just doesn't quite work. Then you're just like the anal retentive chef, and it, that's a bit of a mess. Although I will say this, and there's a reason why it is kind of a mess. Uh, my name's Andrew, and I'm a spruceaholic. What is a spruceaholic, you might ask? Well, anyone that knows their one, uh, raise their hands and admit to the room. Uh, for those that don't know what that is, basically, when you build a plane, you need a lot of extra stuff. Wires, connectors. You see the little plastic bins I have full of just random things. Uh, how do you think all that comes here? Via spruce. Uh, I had, and, and the thing is, I didn't even realize that I was a spruceaholic until I got here near the end of the build because, you know, I'm, I'm basically at the tail end of stuff. Uh, and I had to order a few things. Uh, I need a couple of... Uh, a pin extractor tool died, so I needed to order a new one. Right? It's a little $4 tool. And I thought, God, I hadn't ordered anything from Spruce in like three weeks. And then I just started going through the whole catalog going, oh, cool, what do I need? I'm like, oh, oh, ooh, that's interesting. Why am I doing that? I'm a spruceaholic. That's fine. Knowing is half the battle. All right, so now that we're done making the bundle here, we're going to go ahead and install the sucker into the plane. That's actually a lot of wires. I really should. Oh, okay. So it's not just the sensors. I was wrong. I mean, it is the sensor, so it's manifold pressure sensor, fuel pressure sensor, oil temperature, and oil pressure. I'll go through that connector. Also, I believe uh, fuel flow and RPM and TAC. Right, and both of those are coming off of the EFI system. So that why so those two wires are going to terminate inside back here uh, underneath the ECUs uh, the rest of them are going to go through the firewall and as you can see so that yellow you can see the yellow wires running right that's the EGT CGT probes and now here's another bundle coming along the wiring just don't end Okay, so this is us running the wires across. The nice part is that they can all go through the right pass through, uh, or at least mine can, because I've got the manifold pressure sensor and the oil pressure sensor up on top, which you're going to see here in a second. We're going to hook those in. All right, so those two next to me, uh, that's the two I was just mentioning. The fuel pressure is actually down at the bottom, but that line still runs... I think we just ran it backwards. Uh, you'll see. It's it's hard to see from this angle because it's nighttime when I'm working, but uh, works pretty well. So right, what we're doing here is we've run the wires. We're going to run them along uh, uh, up at the firewall, and we're connecting the sensors with th uh, some Molex, some three-pin Molex. Now I like to use the big scale, the big size ones. The, the, the medium size ones are decent, those small ones are just useless. I think it's like 0 .03 inch. Those, those things are just, they're terrible. The pins are way too damn delicate and getting them to connect, it's, it's a pain. The medium ones are okay, but the big ones are just, they're just so much easier. Problem is they're huge. Which I really shouldn't complain about, considering the weather pack uh, connectors for the EFI system are also pretty, pretty large. But there's plenty of room, so 
All right, we're just going to keep working on this. In the next video, there's going to be more wiring all over the joint. So thank you for joining me, everyone. Happy New Year again. See you soon.